Test, test, here we go. We're going to open up Premiere. We're going to open up Photoshop. We're going to do a little do of everything. A do, do a little do of everything. A do a little bit of everything is what I said. That's what I said. All right, so da da. Da 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 da. -da. Um, YouTube vids. And we'll just, we'll just do that there. And we'll just do, we'll just do, we'll just do um, YouTube vids. And we have it at 1920 by 1080. And these are my videos over here. I got this one, this one. This one's already posted. This one's already posted. So we're going to look at these two. Almost the same size. And we're just going to drag them in over here in our projecto. And there it comes on in. And then we'll pull one in. Change settings. Sure. Why not? Why not? And then we'll pull this one in. And we'll open up that audio. And we'll pull it down. We'll check our project settings. What did we change? Properties. 60 FPS is what was changed. That's fine. All right, so these are loading up. You can see down here they're loading up. As it's loading up, I'm going to open up a Photoshop document and I'm going to call it new, and we're going to call it thumbs, thummies, thumbs, and then we'll do it by pixels. And we'll do 1920 by 1080. And that's fine. That's all fine. We'll hit OK. What we want to do here is pull in this pictorial. Hold Shift. Stretch it that way. Stretch it that way. Hit Enter. I've downloaded this from uh, Google, by the way. I just put in something like Cyber War. I'm going to pop on a Curbs. Crunch some blacks, pop some brights, throw on a hue and saturation, pop some saturation, come over to my images, search for my Tech Times logo, and I'll take this one and I'll just throw that on in. Stretch it out with shift. It's a little too big. It's a little big. It's a biggie little. All right. That's good. Looking good. Looking super. Maybe drag this out just a little creepy bigger. Like that ish. Hit enter. And let's go to. I'm holding control plus minus to zoom in and out. Go to this and I'm going to slap on a little drop shadowy. We'll drop shadage, crank the passage, that's good, click enter, title of this video is, da 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 da, da 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 da, da da, this one is Cyber War, Cyber War, Da, 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 da. All right, well, I guess we'll just call it Cyber War for now. And we'll click on File, Save As, Photoshop Document. Let's go to Cyber War. Cyber War in the last days. I kind of like that. Cyber War in the last days. OK. Save it. Click OK over here change that cyber wars in the last day now what happens is over in premiere oh it won't let me do it because it's open in premiere so what I can do is close premiere save it try again reopen premiere I'm going to drag in this pictorial now blow it up Stretch it out, 
hit enter. Ooh, turn my mic off to sneeze there. Okay, pull this back up in front. Oh, we never sharpened this one. Do we need to sharpen that? Let's do a filter, sharpen, and sharp mask. A little thicker, a little less. Preview off, preview on. Click OK. File, save, file. File, save as. JPEG, save. OK, 1.6 is fine. OK, moving on over. I'm pulling this picture. That one can come behind all the stuff as well. This one can go behind here. This one has curves on it. We can, or our, our curves, what did I just do? Oh no, I just opened up another window. There it is. Okay, curves, we can bring the brightness. More dramatic, saturation. It's fine. Such of liberty, we can probably drag it out bigger, 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 something like that, something like that, a little down, a little down, like that-ish. All right, hit enter, filter, on sharp ma mask, bring it in, that's a little much, bring it down, bring it down a little, check off, check on, click OK, file save as, this one would be World War III, it's only a matter of time, copy, Images, save that, save it as a PSD, Photoshop document, wait for it down there, file, save as, save it as a JPEG, save, 1.3 is fine, click OK, grab this image, drag it on in, hold shift, stretch it on out, nice and big slide it over up we're in the tunnel snap it on hit enter click the filter go to the unsharp mask again all right got your curves on got your hue and saturation on that's it looking good file save as this one will be called underground wars underground war in the last days underground war in the last days okay that'll be fine for now we will save it as save it save it file Save as, waiting for it down here. Come on, come on. Click off, file, save as. JPEG, save, save. All right, so we got our thumbnails. What's this one? Did I forget one? Pull this one in. I forgot one. Stretch it out. Stretch it out, hit enter, curves are on, hue and saturations on, curves, do they look a little too bright? Eh, kind of like that, kind of like the bright popping. It was a little detail here. Uh, let's bring it down a little, crunch it a little bit, 
check it again. Not bad. Saturation. Good. Maybe even saturate it more. Bring out the colors. Slap on a filter on sharp mask. Um, maybe make the lines thicker. Zoom in, check it out. Take it off, put it on, zoom out, off, off, on. It's fine. File, save as. Oh, let me hit OK here. File, save as. This one is called Apocalyptic Space Wars Signal the End of the World. We'll save that. Enter. OK. Um, file. Save as. It's not going to let me yet because it's not done. File. Save as. Jippity Jeg. Peg. Save. Yay. It's over 2 megabytes. you got to come down. 2.2. 1.4. Save it. All right. So we made several thumbnails there. We are done with these for now. We have our thumbnails. Uh, we're going to open back up our YouTube vids and we're going to check just a few things. It's going to ask me where the file is. I renamed it. What did I rename it? I renamed it Matthew 24 War Series Underground War. I named it Underground War in the Last Days. Select that. That's going to ask me for the other one. Cyber War, Cyber War in the Last Days. Select it. Relinking back up with my Premiere. Now, the issues that I have with this video are clearly seen right here in the volume. You could see my logo here when it comes in. Right about there ish super fat and it ends uh, control plus and minus C what you can do is come up to your file edit sorry rather edit preferences no not edit edit keyboard shortcuts and over here what I have is mine set to Final Cut Pro 7 because that's what I used to edit on many years ago mine set to custom now because I've changed one or two things so it, it changed it to custom but it really is the Final Cut settings. Um, I think I set my full screen to F11 or something and then it made it custom. Anyway, you can see right here this wave, how fat it is, right here, and then how skinny all this other audio is. See, when my t you could tell this is attack times cut right here because of the wave. So and then you have another one here, you could tell there you have another one over here at the end in terms of and you can just tell by looking at it all right this one is a lot better this video is a lot fatter with the audio uh, but as we play here you can look at the meter uh, the digital world in the same way that and it's lacking although over here it's full pretty full. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut with the blade right about here. I'm going to cut right about here. I come over here, cut right there. Um, da -da 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 -da. Uh, this tack times here I can cut cut and then what I'm going to do is come over I'm gonna hit a I'm gonna grab I'm gonna hold alt and grab all this audio right here control T is gonna give me my default transition and it put these crossfades here you can also change that edit preferences Da, 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 somewhere general 
Da, 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 da. Default video transitions. Oh, where you actually change. This is where you change the timing of your transitions. If you actually want to change your transition, you would come to your effects, go to the constant power, right click it, set as default transition. You can do that for anyone, that'll be your default transition. Uh, I have mine at constant power. My default transition for the video, control T, is a cross dissolve which I really don't use much, but that's all I have it as. All right, so now what we have to fix here is the audio. I'm going to look at a big audio section like this, and hit play and watch the meters. Previous war, you want to... It's very weak. All this stuff is missing. So a quick fix, real quick way to do it. I'm going to throw the EQ on it. I'm going to select the loudness. And if I open this up, custom setup, it's just going to show it increases the bass here and it increases the highs and it has a little dip to get rid of some of the low mids or it doesn't really get rid of it's probably just increasing the highs and the lows anyway that's okay if you want to add more spots to tweak you can accordingly but this is a good general preset loudness does a lot right off the bat ominous foreshadowing if i were to turn it off shadowing of what's to come. You have your meter at hitting about fi negative 15 here. If I put it on to come. Well, you certainly try. So it's going a little bit higher, but here's where we want to beef it up. We'll go to the multi-band compressor. All these things I have in my favorites. So you want to go find them. Like, let's say you go to audio um, effects and type uh, Compressor. There you have your multiband. You just want to drag it into your favorites and create a folder where you have all your stuff here. So I'm going to grab my multiband compressor for this. Slap it on there. And then I'm. this audio looks so low you could just tell by the wave. And I'm going to um, pump it up. Upward compression. 8 plus 8. So really it should have went up. A lot plus eight so let's see train manila to the see it's all the way at negative six before it was down here somewhere to the next war and so we already beefed it up nice and good um if you want to throw a reverb on sometimes you'll want to do that go to the reverb regular reverb go to custom setup i, I typically leave the the small room unless i want something crazy but usually the small room is fine because you could adjust it all right here um, your pre-delay is going to shift over, make a little delay before the reverb. You might want this, you might you might not. Um, you can drag this up, and that is actually your, your mix right here is the same as if you drag this up. Your absorption right here, this is the same thing as if you're dragging it. This is the same thing as your pre-delay. Uh, so what you might want to do is you're going to want to bring down this low damp all the way down and that's going to take the reverb off the low end. It'll sound less muddy and uh, the clarity of the reverb on the high end will have more presence and you'll be able to hear words clearer. This is way too high. You might want to put this down to 20 or 30. Uh, don't overkill the reverb. The length of it, um, you, you might want it long. Ominous foreshadowing. Or you might want it short of what's to come well you certainly so it's very subtle if you take it off like train put it on it's pretty subtle manila too if you wanted to crank it up you could to the to the next war and you can crank it up in here how the length is instead of the previous war you, you want to be training and then you could bring it back down to your liking maybe 30 for future combat where now a lot of speaking doesn't necessarily need reverb so i would make it very subtle in this case, if they're at all, you don't, you don't even need it. If you don't want it, you can turn it right off. Uh, now, the final thing here is I might throw on a D. Da, 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 no, not a. Sometimes I'll throw on a denoiser, and actually, if I would do that, I will put this denoiser up in front, so it tries to kill the noise before it gets processed by all this stuff. And in this case, um, I probably just bring the reduction all the way down and leave it here. Um, where you may end up skating to. It's just going to take away some of the high hissing. To where the puck is going to be. If you really want to get rid of it, you can cr bring that down. But you might lose, you're going to lose some frequencies. Yeah, as Wayne Gretzky <laughs> would say, as opposed sure. to where it currently is. And so. You might lose some clarity. What, what we have is. So sometimes it, it's kind of cool to just leave it in the preset in the middle so it's not doing too much. 
it's just doing a little bit. Anyway, you can have that or not. I wouldn't overkill, I wouldn't abuse that because you'll really kill frequencies and ruin the, the frequencies that you need. Uh, okay, last thing I'll throw on at the very end is the Dynamics if I have to. The Dynamics is just another overall compressor if you open it up. The presets are okay. Um, you can make it attack a little faster, whatever, but here the key, this already has makeup gain, which is pushing it even more, so now we're going to be near the top. There are 10,000 underground military facilities in the world. So we already beefed everything up. Now, if you want, right-click on this, show clip keyframes volume uh, level, and this is our level. If you, if, Here's another way you can crank it up right here. That's going to be too much now. It's going to put us in the red. Half of those, about 4,800, are in North Korea alone. And so as we've been ramping up for combat... So let's say we did beef that up like that, and it's hitting the red. We'll hit this limiter on, and the limiter is set to negative 20, so it's actually going to drop the... It's going to limit it to right around here, negative 20. The sound's going to be way down here again. ...in North Korea, given the escalation. So what it does is it limits it to that. So if you're going to limit it, limit it down to zero or just a little under zero, like negative 0 0.60, 0 0.30, 0 0.90, negative one, very little bit. So that way what's going to happen is it's going to stop right here at the peak. ...of tensions over the last two years, uh, 18 months to two years. Uh, we've been training uh, underground. Uh, and so now click double click this and hear the difference of the original audio subterranean environments because it's a very different environment see how it's way down here negative 15 there's think about now come here and play the audio and watch it in subterranean environments because it's a very different environment there's think about when you go into the sub that's boosted way up so now what I want to do is I want to hold alt and grab this audio you could grab the whole clip but supposing there were video effects on this clip, which there are not, you might not want to copy the video effects. So in this case, hold Alt, right click, copy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this clip, or hold Alt again, click that clip, and actually going to hold Shift and Alt. I'm going to take this clip. I'm going to take this clip over here. And I think that's it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click uh, that I have all those selected, I'm going to right click on one and click paste attributes and it's going to take all the effects that I had that were on this clip and slap it on all these other clips. Now had I also, ha if I were to if I were to take this one and right click and put paste attributes again you'll see what it will do is it literally doubled everything. It's got my EQ, denoiser, EQ, multiband compressor, reverb, dynamics, multiband compressor, reverb, dynamics. It doubled everything, so I'm going to undo that. If you're ever going to um, want to, let's just say you wanted to, um, let's just say this whole clip already had effects on it. So I'm going to put paste attributes, and it's going to throw all those effects. Let's just say it had some effects on it. Let's say it had a, I'm going to hit delete, delete. Let's just say it had a reverb and an EQ. And now I want to take these effects here, right click, copy, and I want to paste them on here, but I don't want to duplicate these. I want to reset it so I only have what's on here. I'll right click this and click remove effects. It'll give me the option to remove motion, opacity, volume, audio effects. I'm going to leave all that checked and click OK. It's going to remove all the effects. Then I'm going to right click and put paste attributes and it's going to slap on what I had copied over here. So now everything's on. This isn't going to work for this. It's going to be slamming the red because you could already see these are big fat waves. So if I just threw all this stuff on it and also cranked up this uh, volume here, it's going to be way too much. It's just going to slam the red, you'll see. Be very cautious about how we see potential enemies. And we need to it's not hitting the red because it has that limiter on it, but it's pushing everything way up there. No idea what it is that he's going to be trying. It's really loud, so what I would do is probably take off, probably don't need the reverb, probably we don't need this to be cranked up like that. We can bring this back down to about zero-ish. Uh, we can leave the EQ, we can leave the denoiser probably, leave uh, the multiband compressor. We can drop this to like plus six. 
and see how that works. So we're gonna start small playing a bit with our windows. Let me take off dynamics and see what happens. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll leave dynamics on. Now the only thing is over here you see this big fat wave. It's gonna be too compressed and distorted a little bit. See over here, it's just jammed up. It's just slamming that top. And if I didn't have that limiter on, it'd probably go in the red, red. See, it's just over, it's just crazy. Uh, it's because this is so fat. So I'll, I'll come put a hold alt, put a slice here with the blade with B, hold alt again, crossfade that with control T, uh, come to this clip and literally just take off all this stuff or right click and put remove effects. Okay, and everything's gone. So let's see the transition here. See, now look how weak this wave is and how fat that wave is. And yet, when you watch the meter, they're still, they're still the same. The absolutely mass panic. <laughs> Actually, see that one's not even as loud as this one because this one's got the effects. So let's check this. From anything we've seen. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. Alright, that's good. So we'll watch this. Quake in an area that doesn't have Oh, see this. I don't know why this level right here looks down. Right click, show clip keyframes, volume, level, and it shows me it's back up. Underground military bases, would it? So let's just check these transitions right here. Specialized training equipment. Fine. Is not yet. Another article that I to pass, but the end is not yet. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. See that? And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. What I want to do is uh, cut that, fade that, come over here and throw an EQ on this. And this EQ, I'm going to do the loudness, and then actually I'm going to drop this custom menu. And I'm going to click this cut on the low end and bring it in. And I'm going to try to kill some of the low end frequency a little bit to make the voice a little clearer there. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Another article. That, this needs to be here. So I'm just going to drag that. With Alt, drag that, hold Alt, crossfade it. Another. Actually, this right here can be cut, crossfaded. This one, right click, remove effects, everything. And now we have this. But the end is not yet. Another article that I. Another article. Not yet. Another. I don't like how it does a static and then it comes in from a white screen. That's like a double transition. So I'm just going to cut here, cut here, cut here, A, grab all this. Actually, I'm going to hold Alt, grab all this. I'm going to I'm going to hold Alt and press Delete, and it's just going to close that gap. And then I'll hold Alt and crossfade that. Another article that I thought was interesting I want to get into before I get into the uh, borders. I think that's okay. I think we're pretty much fixed up. Training equipment. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So it still sounds like a lot of reverb. So if I really want to get crazy, I'll come here. Go to the Audio Bible, New Testament, Matthew 24, and I'll pull this in and try to find this verse. Marrying and giving in marriage, but as the days... 
be fulfilled. And putteth forth leaves, and with power and great praise shall the sun be dark, or as the lightning conceive the very elect, should no flesh be saved. Whoso readeth, let him out of his house. But he that shall endure one another, and shall hate, then shall they deliver you, and shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes, and divers places. All these many. And you shall hear of... Right, here's the line that we need. So I'm going to drag this over. And you shall hear of wars, and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Blade, cut, A, delete, grab this, drag it to, I believe it was, or drag it on another track down here, it was right here, open this track up, bring this down, match it up with the wave, oh, it doesn't even match up, huh? Does it match up right about there-ish? That is weird. And you shall hear of the wars. So this has got to come over here. So why does it look like it's a different size? And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye, See be, that not ye be not troubled. For all these for all things, these things must come to pass. The end is not but yet. the end is not yet. Okay, so we can kind of go for something here. Let's play with it for really quick. I'm going to cross cross power, fade it so we don't have any pops. Then I'm going to throw on the... This is a mono track. There's only one wave. If you scroll up here, you see two waves. It's just a stereo track. So if I try to copy and paste... Let me save Control S. If I try to copy and paste these effects on this mono track, uh, I'm probably going to have an issue. It might even crash, but I just saved it might even crash because it's a mono track or it didn't do anything okay it's not gonna go because this is a stereo track so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly throw on this EQ pull up my loudness grab my multiband compressor throw on my upward six take uh, I don't need reverb because the other track has it I'm going to put on actually this is probably fine and you should hear them now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this channel and lower it negative 12 maybe and put it in the background and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet okay so the timing is off for some reason so what we can do is right click speed duration we're going to drop this down to 95 and we're going to put maintain audio pitch click ok it stretches it out i'm going to grab this clip and i'm going to right click it speed 105 maintain audio pitch click ok i'm going to shrink it um so now see what our video is all right so what we want to do is I'm going to put a cut here and I'm going to take this video you gotta be careful you don't change the opacity here crank it back up drag this video over here pull this in click this spot click delete Crossfade that if I just want to be try to be on the safe side. Control T. Um, then I'm gonna pull this out. Oh, I just threw off my. Never mind. I'm gonna undo. Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. I don't want to undo that right there. So I'm going to press B. Press B. Cut here. Cut here. Um, move this over here, delete this, delete that, drag this back over, see what we have. The end is not yet. Another article that I thought was interesting. If we want to 
like cross feed just to try to get another article that I thought was lost a little bit of the static so hold alt whoops drag that out delete that drag that out it's probably fine we have this Uh, I don't want to miss the bomb going off, so I'm going to right-click this, speed 105, like we did the audio, uh, click OK, and then I'm going to slide it over, and it should line up in theory, pretty much. This I'm going to hold Alt, drag it back out. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Okay, this one needs to come over here more you can see this can come in more this can cross fade because there's an audio jump oh there is a there is a fade there okay and you shall hear of wars and rumors oh, something distorting and you shall and you shall hear yeah, something's distorting so I'm going to double click here go to my tack times and put logo cut grab that click OK I'm just gonna drag this in right there I'm gonna put this here hold alt delete and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be I'm gonna crossfade sorry I'm gonna crossfade that it didn't work. Go to effects. Cross fade there a little bit. Drag it in. And you shall hear a war. I'm still hearing something weird. Okay, let's just say I kill this. See what happens. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See something's weird. And you shall hear of war. I guess it's just a crackling in the audio. So if we want to see if that's really there, double click here and listen to your audio. Ready? It's what's rendering. Great. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Why are you rendering? Come on. Come on, let's go. Move it along. And you shall hear of wars. I didn't hear the distortion. Indeed, many. And you shall hear of war. I only hear the distortion over here. And you shall hear of. Alright, something's not good. Let's take off the multi band. And you shall hear of war. Let's put it back on, put film mastering. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of war. I'm going to pull this back into about negative 21. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Another art. All right, so this needs to get louder. I'm just going to crank this volume up. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Another art. Might be a, a hair of phasing in there, but it sounds better than before, because the before it was drowning in reverb. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these th I guess it can come a little louder here. Negative 16 try. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Let's hear it by muting this one and see what happens on this one only. And you shall hear of wars. Bring it up a little bit. Wars and rumors of wars. Let's hear this one only. You can turn off the audio there. You can turn off the audio here. And you shall hear of wars. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of Let's drag this out a little bit. And you shall hear them. Put this back on. You can also go to the audio mixer and you could mute and pan. But let's say I wanted to mute channel two over here. Only the first one's on. Wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. I could solo it. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So now you have this effect. This one has the reverb and this one doesn't. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. 
for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay, this still needs some more volume, so I'll throw a uh, dynamics on it, and that should be fine. And you shall hear of wars. You can see the meter up here. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Another article that I thought was interesting. That and that's pretty good. I think that's the best we're going to get it. I'm not going to thoroughly go over everything here, but the idea here was we had to bring up this audio. It was very weak. This audio is okay, so what we did was we just slapped on on this audio, actually, the EQ, the multiband. We don't have the reverb. It's off when we have the dynamics. We might have even put too much on this, but... Oh, we see potential enemies. I mean, it's very loud, which is good. Most people watch... A lot of people watch this stuff on their phones, and their phones are not going to have good volume, so you really want these meters to be cranked up nice and powerful and loud, so if somebody's playing it on a phone with little speakers, it's still going to be piercing through more than it would be if these levels were way down here. So let's check the quiet parts. I traded everything else. Uh, so this separate cyber command... It's, it's good, it's fine. Over here we took it off. So what I'm going to do is crunch this down to here. I'm going to control E. I'm going to change this to H.264. I'm going to go to my preset, which is 60 FPS, 1080, 30 megabits per second. Maybe 30 should be fine. I mean, he might have, he might have been on 50. If you want to see what the original clip has, go to the original clip wherever it may be um, which one was this this is underground war and right click properties details and it'll show you right here 41 so it was rendered at about 40 over here and just to keep consistency I might drop it down to 40 because there's no point cranking it up um, and that's it so this one I'm going to save as and all my settings here are preset, so that's another story for another day. But 1920 by 1080, I put 60 FPS. You could do 29.97 if you have DSLR cameras, 30, 24 if you want that film effect. Uh, I, well, let's see what else. Square pixels, NTSC, main 4.2 variable bit rate one pass uh, if you wanted to take forever you could put two two pass constant bit rate um, this is all fine audio I like to beef up to the 320 the highest bit rate for the audio it's on bit rate down there AAC is fine and I'm going to save this as underground war in the last days uh, remaster I'm going to hit enter and cue that up and then I'm going to come over here, slide this back out, slide this over here. This is Cyber War. I'm going to control E, leave my settings shouldn't really have changed from the last one. Um, let's just double check just to see what what his data rate was. Just, oh, this is down to 34. Okay. Well, that's fine. We could even drop this if we want uh, to video. We can even drop this to uh, 30, and it's still going to be a good bit rate. A lot of cell phones have the bit rate around 20. Uh, DSLR cameras have it all cranked up at, thir at 50. Um, 20, 24, 30, 40, all that's good. Um, 30 is probably fine for here. I'm going to click the name. This is the Cyber War in the last days remaster for now. Click save, cue it. It's going to pop me up with Media Encoder. Um, click play. You can minimize this. You could actually even close this if you want. Um, if you need to do other things, 
you don't want to do too many other things while this is rendering. <clears throat> you definitely don't want to be editing in Adobe, uh, at least not in CS6. Maybe it's changed with if you have the Creative Cloud, but uh, you, you can freeze this up and crash it and have to reclose it and re-export everything again. So the best thing is if you really need to edit something, let's say you need to jump into Premiere and you need to work on something like ASAP and this is all rendering, um, you can open things up if you need to, but I wouldn't suggest to start in CS6 at least to start messing with edits and stuff unless you come over to the media encoder, pause it, and this can stay paused indefinitely. Come back over here, do all your editing, everything you need to do, even if you need to export another one and queue it up, that's fine, but when you're all said and done, then come back and resume play with that um, so it doesn't, so you're just pausing it, it's not going to crash on you or freeze up. And that's the end for now. Hope you learned something. And that was quite a long session there with some thumbnails and mostly audio editing. So like, subscribe, and have a wonderful existence. Goodbye. TechTimes.com. Go subscribe.